We use water waves to illustrate the general properties of waves, not because they're important, but just because they're easy to see. Here we're using a straight edge to push the waves towards a barrier which may reflect them. The waves created are not completely straight, but you can still see that they approach the barrier at right angles and are reflected back in the direction from which they came. If we turn the barrier at an angle to the waves, then the reflection is to one side. You should look carefully at the angle which the waves come in and the angle at which they leave the barrier. As we turn the barrier further and further around, the waves are reflected at larger and larger angles, and it's the connection between the angle of approach and the angle at which they're reflected that we're going to examine. It might be easier to examine this in an animation which is rather more perfect with straighter lines. Notice that as the waves reach the barrier they are reflected one bit at a time. Note carefully the direction in which they approach the barrier and the direction at which they leave. The solid arrows show the direction in which the waves are travelling. The dotted line which is constructed is at right angles to the mirror at the point at which the waves reach it. This line is called the normal. We call the direction that the waves are coming into the reflector the incident ray and we mark the angle between the incident ray and the normal that is, the angle of incidence. The direction of the outgoing waves is marked as the reflected ray. Note that the angle of incidence, labelled on the diagram, and the angle of reflection are the same. Perhaps the most obvious example, and one of the most important examples of the reflection of waves, is the reflection of light at a mirror. We can see the intense beam of red light as flower dust is blown into its path. Even at first glance, the incident ray and the reflected ray look symmetrical. If we construct the normal perpendicular to the mirror at the point at which the rays hit the mirror, and then draw in the angles of incidence and the angles of reflection, we can see that they are the same. These examples illustrate the first law of reflection, that is, that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection.